everybody in here sitting on my porch having my coffee with all of you watching my cute puppies watching my beautiful chickens oh there's been some changes with the chickens so I'll show you that in a little bit I've been breaking things down and rebuilding them and um, trying to improve upon things today I gotta do some laundry so that's gonna be pretty boring but the Easter eggers they keep flying out so I'm thinking of just clipping their wings I may have neighbor dude come over and help me I'm not sure um, he also said I could come gather some cinder blocks from his property, but they're stuck together, so I need to figure out how to do them. And, uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying this beautiful sunny day. It has been sunny and warm. Um, we're going to get some more rain here, I think, tomorrow or the next day. I need to remember to keep those wood piles covered up because one, one time I forgot, and it rained unexpectedly, and it got drenched. Anyhow, uh, well, I gotta get going. Sure does feel good to have lots of laundry done. Well, I didn't do a lot, just a few things. A few essentials. Camouflage is always essential. Nope, that's not Big Daddy. Big Daddy is no longer here. That's campy, but there are three other roosters in here, if I can find them. There's Flame. Might be hard to see them. They're all underneath the coop. So Flame is in here, and two others of the roosters, and the other three, Patsy, Waldo, and another one, they're out free-ranging. I'm going to go see if I can find them. Yeah, they're hiding underneath of there. They spent the night up in the coop last night. Uh, Campy went in by himself. The other three roosters, I had to wrangle them and put them up in there. It's okay for the most part. You know, Campy, he does go after him, but he's calming down a little bit. What's up, Junior? What are you doing? Where's Sunny? Oh, there's Sunny. What you doing, sweetheart? You're getting big, aren't you? Aww. See that big piece of wood right there? My next door neighbor's littlest boy, he knows I like to go out and collect wood. He found me that big piece of wood. He says, Miss Ann, Miss Ann, I found you some wood. He brought it over with a big smile on his face. Okay, yeah, I have taken down the lilies, <laughs> and I've just stuffed stuff behind there uh, for right now because the puppy's finding a way to get out. Um, <laughs> yeah, trying to puppy-proof this area has been a challenge. Yep, I kind of rearranged this a little bit. I decided to move this kind of over a little bit further away from the little garden bed and I made this a little bit smaller because I don't need a really big one and yep that's a rocket stove um, all I did was take a, an, a leftover stove pipe and there's a elbow pipe in the bottom and an old can of pork that I put down there in the bottom and I just took one of the lids and kind of folded it over. I don't know if you can see that. And I just put that in the bottom and it creates a little gap for the airflow. This is the best functioning rocket stove I've built. Um, I think the mistake that I've made in the past is the opening is too wide. The uh, combustion chamber, the firebox, whatever, um, is too big. Really, you just need a little tiny thing and it really concentrates the heat. And all I have to use is sticks and twigs and it works really, really great. I cooked on it. I've been making fire starters. I made about a gazillion fire starters yesterday. So this may change again. Um, I may make an offset smoker sort of a thing once I figure out how to do that. What's up, Sunny? No, you're not allowed to get up on top of that. There they are. Yeah, they're doing okay. I just keep plenty of food out here. And Campy does like to chase them around, but these chickens are pretty fast, so hopefully it'll work out okay. Eventually, the other two roosters are going to come in here, but I didn't want to put Patsy in with this crew all by herself um, because she just wants to be with, you know, her immediate siblings until she gets a little bit bigger and then I'll put the roosters, the other two roosters in here and Patsy will be part of this flock. There's the three other babies. Oh, I forgot, yeah. Rocky 2 is with these. They like to go along this little tree line here. But there's Patsy, there's Waldo, and there's Rocky 2. 
Waldo and Rocky too will eventually go with the other roosters. Um, oh, you guys may be wondering what I did with Big Daddy. Well, Neighbor Dude and Neighbor Dudette and their family had inherited a new flock of hens. And um, I said, yeah, you want another rooster? And they came over and looked and they kind of like Big Daddy. You know, Big Daddy is beautiful. He's got all those beautiful colors. And um, so I said, you know, if you want them, just think about it if you want them. And they came over yesterday and picked up Big Daddy. And he he's doing great. Uh, eventually I'll be able to maybe get over there and show you some footage of their new beautiful hens because they're gorgeous. And he's been working a lot on their uh, chicken yards and whatnot. Oh, there's all the chickens. <laughs> Roxy, poor thing. She's been molting so bad, but she's growing all of her feathers back, so that's good. What's up, Papa? What's up? You've been a good boy. You've been sticking around here more lately. Not chasing after the girls next door. You're such a good dog. Let's go explore. Let's see what Campy's going to do. Who's he going to terrorize this time? He says, I just want to be friends. <laughs> he is turning out to be a pretty rooster, but I'm still going to put him in my belly. Hey, Papa, I thought we were going to go exploring. Just sitting out in the sunshine, taking a nap. All right, dude, you can chill out. Oh, looky here. The wild garlic chives are coming up. I got some closer to the tiny house that are coming up too. I'm so glad. Remember I had transplanted these last year? Mmm. Mmm. Hopefully they'll be everywhere. They are just delicious. My parents had been wanting me to film the apple trees, so I'm filming them now. It's really funny because um, they had lost most of their leaves. It's just that time of the year, but then the weather turned mild again and they're starting to sprout more leaves. I can't believe it. This one over here too. Um, and they're all pretty healthy looking. Yeah, see they got more buds. It's been a weird, weird year for weather. But they do look like they're doing just fine. So that makes me happy. I wonder if we might get some more leaves up here too. There's all kinds of little buds that are growing. So I need to kind of research how I'm supposed to you know, trim these back um, for the winter, if I'm supposed to at all. <laughs> but I just think it, it cracks me up that they're getting their leaves back after they had mostly fallen off. My little cedar tree is growing. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up trimming the bottom parts of it off to get them to look like Mr. Lucas over there. You know, the only bad thing is the cedar trees near that first apple tree um, it, it's likely to cause uh, cedar rust, but I have some spray that can help combat that. So I don't know. I'm thinking this year I am going to get another cedar tree, and then after the season's over, plant it again right here. I don't know. I think that might make a good candidate for on my shelves, you know, on the front and or sides. I'm going to go check that out. Actually, I think this might be a little bit small. Yeah, I can see that one's much bigger. I don't know. Yeah, it's not exactly shaped right. Nah, I'll just burn this in the fire. Man, I tell you what, it is really hot outside today. I'm sitting in the shade right now, but it works out because I picked today to do laundry and hopefully everything will be dry by nightfall. Who knows? Um, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to fire up the rocket stove and cook something. Cook something unusual. And you know what? I think... I'm thinking that this video was long enough, so in the next video I'll show you this unconventional thing that I like to cook and some of you may like it, some of you may not, but I've tried it once and it's delicious. So I'll show you that next time. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.